welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to be dealing with, well it's actually this morning, we're going to be dealing with uh, pressure. And in this uh, chapter over pressure, which would be chapter 10 in our notes, uh, if you'll go to the website, you'll notice that chapter uh, 10 is in unit 4. This will start the unit 4 videos. So just click on chapter 10 and you'll be able to download the notes. Now, first problem in the set of notes starts right in here. Pressure of units, you need to know that one, mil one millimeter of mercury is one tor. Also that one atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury exactly. And also that one ATM is 101,325 pascals, which is basically 101.3 kilopascals. So make sure that you retain that information, memorize it. Um, anyway, we're, our calculation that we'll be doing will involve an open-ended manometer, which allows us to decide if a gas or determine if a gas is either higher atmospheric or lower atmospheric pressure than its environment. So let's go ahead and uh, do a problem with an open-ended manometer, and here's a picture of one. Um, this remember this: if the two are equal, then atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure of the gas. Uh, whatever the current atmospheric pressure is. Uh, same thing here, if you have a greater uh, volume on the right side, that means that the gas is pushing harder on this gas, meaning the external gas. So basically the internal pressure of the gas that's in this ball, let's just call it a ball, is going to be greater than the atmospheric pressure on the open-ended part of the manometer because it's pushing the liquid up. And here, if the liquid is moved towards the ball, it's going to be less. And that's what these signs denote, that this is less than, and this is greater than, and that this is equal to. So just remember, if it's up on this end, you add. If it's up on the left side, you subtract. All right, let's look at our first problem. Here it says a student collected a gas in an apparatus connected to an open-ended manometer as illustrated in the figure. The difference in the heights of the mercury in the two columns was 102 uh, millimeters. So you know that's 102 millimeters of mercury. And the atmospheric pressure was 756 millimeters of mercury. What was the pressure of the gas in the apparatus? Notice that they're showing us that this 102 millimeters, I know it says 10.2 centimeters, that's just a conversion. They did that just so you wouldn't, uh, you know, have it easy. But anyway, this is 102 mil millimeters, and notice that it's up high on this side. So all that we will do is we will add this height difference to the pressure of the atmospheric pressure, which was the 756. So basically what you'll do is, let's pull up the camera. Basically what you will do is you will take the information that they gave you, the 756, and that was the uh, atmospheric pressure. that means the outside and you will add to that the 102 and they said that was in millimeters of mercury now let's go back to look at the ring again real quick notice that they said it's a 756 millimeters of mercury and this is also 102 millimeters of mercury so make sure you include your units I, I just got carried away but anyway millimeters of mercury and millimeters of mercury. So all we have to do is add these two. So we add, we get 8, 5, and 8. Now, a lot of times a lot of professors will not just take the millimeters of mercury, they'll tell you that atmospheric pressure must be in ATMs. If they do this to you, all that you do is this, you take 858 millimeters of mercury, put it over 1, and then in your next step down here, you will say that there are 760 millimeters of mercury in one ATM. And that will convert it to ATMs for you. So all that you need now is a handy-dandy cheetilator. Uh, so let me pull one up here, which I have one. All right, let's turn this on. Now, once you have your uh, calculator turned on, just type in uh, 858 divided by... 760 equals. Now notice that we got to keep three sig figs. So my answer here will be 1.1. Guess what? You see this 8? This 8 pushes the 2 to a 3. 1.13 
ATMs. Okay, so I showed you how to take your millimeters of mercury if they want ATMs and convert to ATMs, and I showed you how to work an uh, atmospheric pressure problem involving an open-ended manometer. So I hope this was helpful. Just watch it a few times. The concepts are easy. Remember, if it's high on the right, you add. If it's high on the left, you subtract. If the two are at the same height, then it's equal, and you can stop. All right, guys, the only thing left is the credit, so here they are. All right. Hope it helps.